Hey folks, my name is Joey. I'm a crafter, 3D printer, and a collector of model trains, and I'm going to show you how I build a variety of different things. Hey folks, welcome to part three. Today I'm going to show you how I make Mr. Freeze's ice cream truck. Like I said in the last video, I'm going to make it a chase scene between Batman versus Mr. Freeze, and I think Mr. Freeze would be driving an ice cream truck. The ice cream truck design that I went with is not based off a real one, but I, all the ones that I were looking at online were, that I got inspired by were vintage and very whimsical looking. So I went with a combination of the two, vintage and whimsical. I hope you guys like it. This one here is what I was first inspired by. It's from the Batman television series. That's, this is what I wanted to make, but found no other pictures. Then I saw this one and I really liked the shape of this one, but I wasn't truly in love with it yet. That's where most of my inspiration comes from when making this. And I really liked how the uniqueness of having like ice cream involved somehow in this in my model and I really like the like the original um, good humor trucks I like the vintageness and I like this one and then when I was going through that picture I found this picture and I really liked how the ice cream cone was sticking on the front of the truck so I did a mashup of all of them I decided to take it in my own hands and I'm gonna come up with one a design just out of my brain and this is what I thought up of I did it like I did on my previous builds started in pages and decided to get all the views that I needed for this vehicle. I rough shaped it and then smoothed it out into curves and this is the shape that I got. I really do like it. It has a nice flowy shape and unique whimsical feel and then for some reason this is what I wanted the side to look like. It almost reminds me of a slice of toast. It looks cool. Then I, and then I screenshot it and poured it into SketchUp and did everything like I did the last time. Lightly traced the edges. You don't have to be exact to make them a rough but okay version of the model. I didn't forget the grouping this time. Followed the model with all the lines, like I did in the previous video. And then I drew my front end how I want it. And then I did everything like the previous video. I then reversed all the faces. I wanted all the sides to be white as opposed to the gray color. Because gray means that it's an inside face, white is an outside face. I, I subdivided to see how it looked fixed everything that I needed to, then copied it, flipped it. And then I realized, after putting the two together, I want to make the grill more pronounced. So that's, um, that's what I did. I, I pulled out the edges to give it more of a pronounced look for a grill.
So as you see here, I'm starting to make the ice cream cone. I wanted it to be a cake cone. And that was kind of also inspired by this image here of, of the concept art of Mr. Freeze Lair from Batman and Robin. And I wanted it to be a soft serve cone. I wanted to use this image of the clown to get a reference for a, a logo or an icon. I copied the base so then I could make the start making the nose to the shape of the base so it fits perfect. I start drawing out the nose, delete this circle, and then, and then subdivided it to get a smooth, clean nose. This nose reminds me almost of Wario's nose, the Mario franchise. Next, I started to make the eyes. I took three oblong round shapes and put two on top of each other with a space in between and one protruding a little out to almost look, look like a dimensional eye. Like the eyes are really wide open. And then added a circle in the center for a pupil. Then I started to work on the mouth. I envisioned this big smiley mouth. So I made this, this smiley shape and then started to make the teeth. So I went roughly in the middle and did like a, also another smiley shape and started drawing lies and evenly spaced the teeth out. And then push pulled them at different heights.
And then I used the True Bend tool by Thomas Thompson, aka TomTom, Tom, to bend it to the shape of the ice cream cone. Then I started working on the ice cream itself. I took a Google image of an ice cream cone and started tracing all the sides, except for the top. Once I got to the top, I chopped it off because I wanted to do it that a little differently. And then I used the follow me tool to follow it around the circle of the same diameter. Then afterwards, I started drawing all the lines to connect it to the bottom to make it a connecting ice cream cone. But I forgot at the end to, which I still have to do. And then again, I used the subdivision tool by Thomas Thompson, AKA TomTom. Tom. But here's a look at the finished pro what the finished product will look like without the wheel wells. Again, I'm going to cut them out using Tinkercad because it's much easier. The ice cream cone will be printed separately. And last but not least, I want to give a big shout out to a very good friend and a very good supporter of this channel. Ryan Sacco. He has another YouTube channel of his own. He is one of the best Soul Calibur players I've ever seen. His channel is all about I mean, him streaming his fighting games. You can check out his channel in the top corner of this video. Also stay tuned for the next part of this video where I will be designing a street and with the chasing of Mr. Freeze and Batman and Robin in the streets of Gotham City. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.